Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to see 16 awesome types of transport from bikes to cars. I hope you fastened your invisible seatbelts, but if you are really driving now, check that they're secure. After watching, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and make the bell button gray so you will not miss on the next episode. And let's go! This is an incredible, legendary Volkswagen Transporter from 1967. A mini copy from the video was made by hand. To be honest, I didn't get any information about this car, so I can only assume that the model was designed specifically for a Volkswagen exhibit or parade. Anyway, I can add a few words about a full-size car. The rear-engine van quickly gained recognition throughout the world, despite the contempt of England and America. It was based on the components of its big-eyed fellow Beetle but it was produced with a powerful 48 horsepower engine. The flat air-cooled boxer engine, combined with a four-speed gearbox, slightly reduced the loading volume, and the front of the car turned out to be quite spacious. It has an amazing visibility. The drivers of the late 60s were absolutely delighted with the van. It was used for business purposes and by freedom-loving citizens. Now you can see a concept car from Mercedes. As conceived by the chief engineers of Mercedes, the futuristic concept of the presented electric car unites a man, nature, and a car in a unique way. Do you know what served as the main philosophy for the creation of this car? The movie Avatar. Or rather, its main line that runs like a golden thread. A person reunites with his Ekron and controls the power of thoughts. The Mercedes Vision electric car is a new generation of intelligence. It is something like controlling the power of thoughts. The instrument panel is connected to the driver's head and responds to signals from the brain. According to the company's idea, it will be especially useful for people with disabilities, since it does not require either touch or voice commands. The car is not yet available for sale, and its release dates have not been announced. Here is the most environmentally friendly car you can imagine. Only the Flintstones can be more environmentally friendly. This is a bicycle car. To tell the truth, looking at the price rise, I really think that this idea is not a bad one. Why not? Here, for example, is a version of an electric bicycle and a car in retro style. The cabin is designed for one driver and has stylish wheels and a body reminiscent of the first cars. The creator of the Jaguar and the Land Rover worked on the design. The maximum speed of the car is 56 kilometers per hour, which is generally not that slow. Besides, if you miss the battery charge, you can always start pedaling it yourself. Why don't people fly like birds? It seems to me that the developers of this backpack seriously decided to correct this injustice. While this jetpack is still under development, the chief designer, Matt Lipsky, says that it's the latest technology for a self-leveling flying device. The pilot can take off and control the flight while standing, thanks to two turbine blades on the sides. Somewhat like a powerful drone, this version has LED lighting for night flying and an electric flight instrument. In the next stage of development, they plan to improve the safety system, as well as the high speed and high altitude tests. The final cost and the date of announcement to the large market are still unknown. Never grow up is the slogan of the company that develops this mini motorcycle drift truck. The guys from Street Sports united into a powerful community and began to create awesome items. Collecting cool bike tracks, sewing cool clothes, patches, and stickers is truly a mission. Having recovered from a serious accident in 2012, one of the founders of the company decided to use all his knowledge in the field of motorsports and build a mini bike for drifting. His first video of this vehicle that he had posted on YouTube went viral, and thus the hobby turned into a separate industry. Each bike is equipped with powerful drift wheels and a gasoline engine. The guys tried to assemble the cars as safe as possible. I'm not sure that they will be able to be fully driven on the highways. Seems that they are rather niche vehicles. Here is another reference to cycling, only this time it is from France. This is a completely unexpected phenomenon that is water transport with full cycling motion. Although, why is it unexpected? This is a catamaran. The creator claims that you can levitate over water at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour using only your legs. Essentially, a single person boat doesn't really touch the water. The engine compartment is completely submerged in water and a metal base extends to the bottom of the boat, which lifts it above the surface. This is a completely environmentally friendly model without any polluting emissions and it is not surprising at all as no mechanical motor is provided. You can ride it until you're tired. What will happen if you combine the most powerful sports car engine with a motorcycle? That's right, there will be pure madness. 
That's what Chuck Beck thought when he had started creating a high-speed monster. This is the Lamborghini at 12. The speed of this motorcycle can reach 225 kilometers per hour. Chuck put the engine in a brand new custom motorcycle frame. He keeps most of the technical side under wraps, but what is known is that he combined the V12 engine to a Volkswagen Type 3 gearbox and tuned it to a top speed of 225 kilometers per hour. In terms of design, everything from the fairings and lights to seats is custom. The owner of a company producing custom limousines once got an idea of creating a limousine in the shape of an airplane, and he managed to make it. I just wonder where these crazy ideas come from. The length of this ride is 12 meters, and the height is 3.5 meters. The construction is mounted on 28-inch Diablo tires. It has custom fiberglass fenders designed for real aircraft. Most of the suspension came from a one-ton pickup truck. Some of the lighting was taken from a Jeep, and the rest of the parts were custom. Overall, there are about four vehicles combined in this airplane limousine. Inside, the car is equipped with the latest technology. It has four video panels to monitor the dimensions, a powerful video player for passengers, a stereo audio system, a mini bar, and LED lighting, everything as it should be in a limousine. It took the guys about a million dollars to create this winged masterpiece. It is so cool when parents pay attention to their children's needs. They approach this matter with mind and soul. One American built a real mini bulldozer for his son. For this, he used an old Briggs Snowfighter. Now, this mini car has three horsepower, five speeds, and reverse. The coolest thing is that his child has been able to drive such cars since childhood. I think as he grows up, he'll have no problems getting a driver's license. Look at this custom steel horse. Judging by the design, the developer is a fan of the era of the Plague Doctor. In general, if I understood everything correctly, there's a whole movement of steampunk bikers who modernize or assemble their motorcycles or bicycles from scratch. They deliberately weld copper tubes and steel fenders onto the wheels and cover the seats with leather using large metal buttons. The more rough welded parts there are on the bike, the cooler the bike is. It should be noted that it looks really great. From a technical point of view, such bicycles do not have any special characteristics. Here is purely design and culture. Can you see these two faces? Guess which way I'm going. The owner and the designer of this car obviously has a sense of humor. I wonder how many motorists he managed to scare on the highway. Eric, the car owner, was looking for a noticeable advertising for his business. But neither an airship nor a hot air balloon inspired the designer. And then he came up with the idea to connect two Chevrolets. Both parts of the car are almost identical, but you can only drive in one direction. The rear part is actually a dummy with a fake driver. This car has one of the largest trunks. In fact, all technical parts were removed from the hood so that space was left for luggage. Eric really attracts attention when he's driving on the roads. People take pictures of the car and want to know about his story. So he was quite able to create a cool outdoor advertising. What about Banana Mood? The creator of this car spent his whole life designing crazy cars, from hot dogs to, well, bananas. One day he stopped at a gas station where there was a banana on the billboard. It was moderately straight, with a slightly crooked shape, and while he was standing in queue, the only thing he was thinking about was where to put the wheels and what diameter they should be, as well as what part the engine would fit into. He imagined how he would drive about along the roads and how cheerful people around him would feel. Well, in general, these thoughts didn't take long to become real, and now, a bright yellow banana is driving along the streets of Michigan. The basis was a 1993 Ford F-150. The frame itself was designed and welded by hand. The construction of the fruit car took about 2.5 years. It's quite difficult to calculate the final cost of the vehicle due to the long development and construction. And here, there is a Google company bike. The company offers it to its employees for moving around the campus. It feels like they took a children's carousel and attached a couple of steering wheels and pedals, right? The cool thing about this invention is that it can transport up to seven people at a time. It has a large trunk basket, which can easily accommodate groceries or backpacks. The main shtick of this transport is that not all road users look in the same direction. I think it's a bit difficult to ride a bike while sitting with your back to the traffic. Gregory Dunham built the largest motorcycle and got into the Guinness Book of Records. The reason for the creation of this giant was a banal argument between Gregory and his friends. That means he did not strive to get into the Book of Records, he just liked to argue. It took him three years to build the motorcycle. In this time, the American created a bike weighing almost three tons. It was more than 6 meters in length and 3.5 meters in height. The volume of the V-shaped 8-cylinder was 8.2 liters. The diameter of the monster wheels was 188 centimeters. The movement of the giant was not possible without additional rear wheels. 
The problem was that the centripetal acceleration was not enough for the motorcycle to ride on two wheels, and the width of these wheels did not allow the bike to corner. The decorative steering wheel did not perform its main function, and control was possible only from the cabin, built into a fake gas tank. Theo Janssen's kinetic sculpture inspired a group of American designers to create a walking bicycle. As a part of the startup, the guys assembled a whole team to develop a strange monster. It was decided to make the main parts on a 3D printer, while the frame, the chain, handlebars, and the front wheel were taken from a regular bicycle. The construction includes about 450 unique parts, and about 700 hours were spent on its development. As a result, the first demonstration that took place in 2015 was successful. The walking mechanism completely replaces the rear wheel, which reduces the basic speed of the vehicle. This device is suitable for lovers of leisurely walks. This is another representative of the future, a concept car from Renault. It has fully automatic intelligent control. The French car company has unveiled a new self-driving concept called EZ Ultimo. The robotic electric vehicle concept, which debuted at the 2018 Paris Motor Show, offers a premium ride made from luxury materials such as wood, marble, and leather. The roof features segmented glass panels with lattice-clad sides and tinted windows. Anyway, no final decision has been made on serial production so far, as well as on the final cost of the car. Well, that's all guys. Share your impressions in the comments.